here this morning to the to the squad so so they know what what's going to wait for us over there. It looks like if it's going to rain on Friday and Saturday morning at least, maybe in the afternoon as well. So um we prepped or tried to prep for the wet conditions, but it's it's not always easy when it's thirty five degrees over here. But um I think mentally we know what to expect and what, how we want to play and what we need to do well. And but from you guys, I'm sure it also just eases the mind a little bit. Boarding at five, knowing that you have pretty much all been there, apart from one of you guys. Yeah, I think having played there for us and staying there has, has helped us a lot. Uh, there's quite a few players that know what we're going to face when we get there and how the conditions are going to be. So I think starting off the EPCR like that is, is very fortunate for us and looking forward to getting on with it. You know, if I can remember, is it, have they got a 4G picture? I can't remember exactly what that looks like. No, no, no. It's sort of a mix. It's a mix, yeah. yeah. Okay, the the mix between, yeah, it's hybrid. And, but for set piece wise and scrumming wise, I'm sure there's three guys welcome that. Yes, yes. I think, because we've seen that the, the forward pack also likes to more than scrum a lot. So I think for our forwards, it's also going to be a good challenge for us to take them on, on the forwards. Sorry, just lost week and all. You must be happy to get those other three guys back from Wales. Um, obviously, not ideal not having him here for a month training for you guys, but I suppose they're all professional enough and know the system's well enough. Yeah, luckily, all three of them played quite a lot of matches for the for the Cheetahs, and especially in last year's um, European Challenge Cup, uh, Ruan got injured, so Rievan had to make the step up, and he played really well. So and he. Got a bit of game time again um, in the last two games there for, for the Osprey, so that will help him. Marnas got 55 minutes um, on Saturday night. I must say, I watched those games with, <laughs> with my fingers crossed because um, we couldn't afford or an injury would have been um, would have been tough on us. So I was really glad when Marnas played his 55 minutes and they pulled him off the field. Dan didn't play on the weekend, but I've been in contact with all three of them on Sunday and they're all fine, ready to go. How is this now a good one at least like Parma? But it's not your lecture because it's your damn actress. Yeah, that, that is the enough thing that, what once more, we had misschien a bit can find as he, as you, um, man came time, but also that the Griffin's race rate, once more, half the half the elk spiller for beer cons here. And to the Leo's wedstrijd, now meer met die span wat, wat gaan speel, waar die ander span het acht URC wedstrijde wat hulle in kon speel. So dit is een groot verskil, maar aan die ander kant um, is ons vaars en uitgeruid, en ons is goed voorbereid, so goed is wat ons kan onder die omstandighede. So um, ek geloof nie, jy weet, dit sal ons in die voetskiet nie, as ons ingesteld uit reg is, sal, sal ons kan perform sal. Koos, are you happy with your squad that's just, uh, yeah, we're happy with the squad. As we said earlier, there's most of the players played in the EPCR last year. They they know the conditions, they know what to expect, and um, we've prepared as well as we could over the last month. So, Victor, from your side, what do you expect from the opening? I think it's been pretty clear what they want to do. They've improved quite a lot. Uh, especially their forwards, we see that as, as something that we want to take on because they want to, they work a lot with their forward pack. So the scrums, malls, uh, is, is going to be a battle up front for us. And then with the backs, I think they've settled their own thing. And then, but we want to make sure that we get front ball and we want to get dominance. Right. I have a question from SABC, um, Bobby is it the freedom of the four season for bereiden? What you do stallings for the reacts in the season? As you want English and Afrikaans can ask. Yeah, the as for bereiding is a good thing. The verschillen on in um the omstandigheden, the weer omstandigheden is groot, so it makes it very moeilijk om rechtig perfect voor te bereiden, maar ons probeer maar elke oefening die spelers daarvan bewust maak dat ons van de kan speel, kouwe, talk wat weer, na het veld, so ons, ons probeer om so te oefen, en ons, ons manier van speel so aangepas, dat het vir ons sal werk, weet ek, het is nog in vir die back ook gesê, en ek, ek gaan het nou vir die span ook sê, is, is, indien het reen, denk ek, is het eindelijk goed vir ons, weet, ons het baie goeie pak voorspelers, ons het 
een goeie kicking game, en verdedig baie goed, so dit is die goed wat in nadwetsrijde, maar die deurslag gee, en dit is drie van die goed wat ons sterpunt geraak het, oor die afgelope, sê, seizoen of twee, so, so, so goed is moendlik voorbereid, um, die tweede deel was gewees, um, wat jylle doelstelling vir die reeks, in die ja, die doelstelling gaan ons, ons het nou nou oor 20 minuut, tot so, a meeting met die span daar met die ouwens wat gaan, um, Ons het verlede jaar tot in die ronde van 16 gekom, so ek geloof dit sal die minimum wees waarmee ons tevrede sal wees hierdie jaar, dit gaan waarschijnlijk een beetje moeiliker wees as verlede jaar, maar um, ons is recht daarvoor en ek geloof van my kant af sal ek wel graag wel sien dat ons probeer om in die kwaart eind ronde van die competitie te kom, maar um, moet het week vir week, game vir game vat, ek kan nie die story vooruit loop he. Ja, as jy dan net in Engels, um, but yeah, I'll be for pre-season because I think we finished yeah, we prepared as well as we could um, in the conditions here in Bloom. It's, it's really hot this summer. It's more than other um, summers that I experienced here since 2019. I think this is the, the warmest weather we, we had and the least, or the least rain over this period. But we trained well. We know what we want to do and we focus on how to play well in a wet weather game. Um, our strengths over the past year or so is our defence, our kicking game, and a forward pack that dominates at scrum and line-out time, and we've got a very good mall. So if it rains, that will suit us as well. We can adapt, and we can just uh, use the, the strength that we've got. If it's a nice, clear day, then we've got the ability and the skill to to throw the ball around and to uh, to play a bit more of a, an expansive game. Um, but I don't expect it to be that. I expect a, a wet, cold day there in Parma. Um, Regarding our goals for, for the competition, we we would like to go one step further. Uh, last year we re- reached the round of, si- of 16 and I think the whole squad will agree we've got a meeting later on, but we, we want to go to the quarterfinals and see what we can do. But we'll take it one game at a time. Right then, Victor. Um, I'm going to ask the English one from England. You can do the Afrikaans. Okay. Or Arvies, then... Zeverheid pas teruggekeer van Tour in Zuid-Afrika. Wat verwaak jylle van hulle saad? Ja, ek het vir die span so weke wat terug ons moet glad nie kyk na die wedstrijde wat hulle in Zuid-Afrika speel nie. Die kondities is anders, die manier van speel is anders en die Zuid-Afrikaanse span is gewoond in die hitte en hulle nie. So hulle het zwaar gekry, so vooral ten die, um, die bille, maar of ten die, ja, hulle het ten die bille verfleer, nie. Is krijgs, maar die nawek ten die stommers, Het is een beetje van een slappy game geweest bij de kanten toe, maar ik denk die het, het hulle maar weer gevang. Maar die wedstrijden wat hulle thuis gespeel het um, in Parma en in die in noordelijke halfrond het hulle verskrikkelijk goed gedoen en die Sjaakse ben gelijk opgespeeld in Cardiff, ten die Aspreis met twee punten verloor, so dit was als weet of gewen of amper gewen. En soos week nou nog gesê het, het hulle as een span baie verbeter van verlede jaar af so, daar is hulle liefdel met wat hulle doen en ons het in ons uh, voorbereidings ook meestal maar gekyk na die wedstrijde wat hulle daar gespeel het, in ons analyse is om oor die wedstrijde wat hulle hier so in Zuid-Afrika gespeel het om na dit te kyk. Ok, Victor, um, Zebra um, played in South Africa and they just returned home. What do you expect of them on Saturday? Yeah, I think, uh, like Paul said now, the, the game that I played in South Africa isn't a true representation of how they play back home. So for us, we're going to focus more on the game that they've played at home uh, because that's what we, that's the conditions we're going to be facing and that's how they're going to be because they have, I think they have confidence playing back home. And so for us, I think we're ready to take up on that challenge and to take them on. Thank you. Thank you. And then we're going, we're going over to Zoom, yeah. Dank je, Daniel. Thanks. Dank je, Avis. Victor. Um, Avis, ik ga maar weer in Engels praten. Net voor die video. Um, I heard what you said about uh, the styles of play. But you, th- this year, unlike last year, your first season in, in the Challenge Cup, uh, you're playing four different teams. You don't play home and away like you did. I mean, you actually got a, the Sharks that, that you can play in Bloemfontein. How does that change your approach, uh, knowing that you play four different teams, four different styles? Yeah, you know, it's quite a funny competition. It doesn't work the same for all the groups. So I don't know how they compile the games and, and decide who's playing double uh, rounds against some teams and who's playing just f- uh, for other teams. But um, 
the fixtures is what it is and we will try and make the best of it. Uh, we luckily had a lot of time in Parma last year, so we are well prepared over there and we are glad that we can at least play one game in Bloemfontein against the Sharks. So um, we look forward to that. We we know that they would like to bounce back from this hiding that they got on the weekend against the Bulls. So they will be a really dangerous team, but we'll focus on them the week after this week. So um, one thing at a time and um, we've got to prepare well and go to Parma with the, the right mindset to enable us to have a good chance to beat uh, Zebra. Obviously, travel. I mean, I see you guys are only leaving on Thursday, am I correct? No, we leave tomorrow at lunchtime and we'll oh. be in Parma around about lunchtime on Wednesday. So the travel is a little bit better than last year. We don't fly with Qatar um, anymore, so we, we've got a bit of a shorter flight um, and we'll be in Italy a bit earlier than last year this time. But, but coming back, it still gives you a short turnaround next week. Um, we play the Sharks on Sunday the 17th, so we've we've got sort of a, a week plus one. So we'll be back on Monday, flush out on Tuesday, and then start our preparations on the Wednesday next week. So it's sort of a normal week for us. Um, I missed a bit about the, the, the players and, and, and the travelling squad. Um, you've got three guys that, that you said that, that played uh, or that's playing overseas. That uh, When are they joining or have they joined you? No, they are in um, Parma already. Uh, they, they played against Benetton in Italy this weekend and then they just travelled from um, from Treviso to Parma. So they are already in Parma um, as we speak. Okay, so that's Rewan uh, Marnes and who's the third player? Dan Cassendi. Okay, okay. But those are guys that you that's quite familiar with you. you, uh, you they don't need yeah. a lot of time with you. Yes. Okay. Victor, my last one from me. Um, from a player's perspective, uh, I mean, you guys obviously uh, know the Sharks well, you know the Zebra, you can, you can analyze them. But, but talk to us about the other two, the uh, Power and, and the two French clubs and Onyx. Yeah, I think also with Pau, we've also seen uh, how they, they've improved as well. It's not going to be as easy as they had last year. I think a lot of teams have improved seeing how competitive the, the competition has been. So I think we're expecting anything at this point, but we'll take it each game at a time, like Coach said. And then with Oyanax, uh, we're going to analyze them as much as possible, and then we'll take it upon ourselves to to see what kind of game plan that we need to take down when we face them. Yeah. Uh, talk to me about the, um, you guys had that those games against uh, Western Force. How much has that helped you as a player to to get to know each other and get? To, I know you can't talk about stars because it's different conditions, but how much does it help you as a team to gel as a unit? Yeah, I think that those four games really helped us a lot, especially with the new guys coming in. And for us, it was really about focusing on how we want to play when we play in the EPCR, uh, since most of the guys in the EPCR have a lot of games. Uh, so I think for us, we were very fortunate to have those for Toyota Challenge games and really focus on our game plan and focus on our defense and see how we want to play when we're playing in the wet weather. Even though most of the days were hot, but we tried as much to simulate how we want to play when we go uh, in Italy and in France and with all those games. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Thanks, Thanks John. <clears throat> Simon, anyone else? I don't know. Thanks. I'll take the opportunity. Hello, guys. Um, just a quick one. Um, obviously, you made mention of the fact that, uh, and I think you used the words, um, Zebra is not the team that they were a season or so ago. So I suppose in, in another word or another sentence or in another paragraph, you're actually saying there are no more minnows whatsoever. If we ever suspected uh, or tried to qualify and classify Zebra, for instance, as a minnow, be aware of, and, and as a sort of a forewarning to other teams as well? Yeah, they showed exactly that against the Sharks. Um, and it came as a surprise maybe to some people, but I was watching their game since the start of URC and I was impressed with the improvements they made, especially um, at the set piece. They, they lost. Their first line-out in the 
URC against the Sharks, um, and that was their fourth game. So they've got close to 100% record at line-out time. They scrummed well. It was only the Bulls that um, got some scrum penalties against them in all the games they played. And um, they come up out of the line on defense, make solid hits, and they've got a good work rate on defense. So that's uh, stuff that they improved on during this year. So, um, yeah, as you said, they're definitely not, they're not the minnow. They are there to compete and stand their ground. Just a follow-up on that. Is it uh, because of uh, probable better coaching or is it something inherent to the players as well and uh, they made the step up? Yeah, I won't know. I'm not involved with them. Um, they um, sort of let go of a lot of the international players or overseas players. So they stuck to Italian players. There's quite a lot of young guys in their team, but the under-20 team of two years ago did really well at the under-20 World Cup. So they're backing their those players, what I've heard is they split those 15 or 20 guys into two groups. One is with uh, Benetton Treviso and the, and the other half are with um, with uh, Zebra to, to develop those players to play for Italy in the future and um, at this moment it looks as, as if it's working for them. Thanks guys, success. Thanks. Right. Any more questions? Morgan? Biggest one thing having a girlfriend or a fiance, if you're a married man now, so a little bit harder to go on tour. <laughs> and have, have you got that transfer honeymoon yet? Or will that wait for the Christmas break? Yeah, I think it's it's beautiful to experience this this moment. Uh, but I think for now, I think my wife understands that the focus is is that work first, and then hopefully for us that we have a, a break coming up after the two games. I think that's when we'll focus on the honeymoon stuff. But for now, it's work. 